Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Hello. Today, we're going to connect Node.js with Google Speech to Text. Um, so, spoiler alert, this is not the best library. There are a lot of flaws that I would recommend Google to do, to change, and it's, it's bad. Honestly, it's pretty bad. Um, I will search for a better speech to text to text library for you guys that requested me this API. Um, but yeah, let's try this out. So let's do npm init.py. Let's start the package. Let's install the Google Cloud speech. And we are also going to require another package that is called fs. npm fs. Awesome. Okay. So let's create our index.js file. So the first thing that we're going to need is we're going to const speech equals to require Google speech cloud speech. Let's do fs equals to require and uh, we're gonna send the credentials to the you know, the modules directly so let's do process dot and dot full application credentials okay and we're gonna create a file coding coding with hello okay and let's create the function audio where we're gonna send the audio file or the audio file name actually and we're gonna do a try catch So the idea here is that first we're gonna need to read, well, first we're gonna create the client. So let's do const speech client equals to new speech dot uh, speech client. As we already have the uh, credentials up there on the process end, so we don't need to send anything here. We're gonna now read through the file and to put it into bytes so we can send it into the API that speech is providing there. So we're gonna do const a file equals to fs read file sync. And we're gonna do the audio file. We're gonna do now const audio bytes equals to file dot to string base. 64. Okay, and now let's create the objects that we're gonna send to speech. So first object is actually the audio. So const audio equals to an object that we have the content. And we're gonna send the audio bytes. And then we have the config. And here's the worst part from the API. We're gonna need three um, objects of parameters here. We're gonna need the encoding. We're gonna need uh, the sample rate hertz. And we're gonna need new language. Okay. So the language code, we're gonna use NUS. And these two actually are the problem because if you send the wrong encoding, um, it won't work. Okay. Uh, the worst problem of all is that when you actually send a wrong encoding, uh, most of the time school is actually going to say like, Hey, this is a wrong 
hertz rate. Okay, so let's test that out. So linear 16, let's use there, and let's use uh, 44,100. Okay. Once that we have that, let's do a uh, return new promise resolve reject. Okay. And let's do there speech client dot recognize. Let's send the object of audio config. Then data. So let's now grab the uh, the data, the credential. So we go to our give me a second. We are going to Google Cloud Console. Okay, Google Cloud Console, API and Services. to enable APIs and services. We click here on speech. We go to cloud speech to text API. You'll see the blue button says enable. For me right now it's API enabled. Okay. Uh, it's cost like you have some cost to use in this library. Okay, so keep in mind that because I didn't. Um, and yeah, and once you have that, you go to credentials, you create your service account, uh, Cody with auto speech to text, done, uh, speech to text here, you click on that. You go to keys, alt key, green key, JSON, create. And you have that downloaded there. And now you just move the file and rename it and you move it here. Okay. So now we have the coding result there. Okay, cool. So we have that. And now let me grab some audio files from my projects. So we're going to talk about this voice.wav I'm gonna talk about this OGG okay so um, let's start testing this voice.wav these are all audios from internet all well, these are an audio from internet okay let's do not index.js and you'll see the first issue as I told you before some of the errors they actually say like hey the summary that you sent is wrong you have to use this one so you see how it starts to say like hey if you know the hurt rate like why are you asking me to change it like why are you asking me to, to send it to you because if you don't send anything well it worked okay Sometimes it doesn't work. My bad. Okay, so we have the results here. Okay. Um, let's actually test that out. Wow. Okay, retract. It's working. Wow. Okay, perfect. Um, I think it's some audios it doesn't recognize it as well. Well, Okay, you can actually send the config, the language code directly. So let's get what's inside the res these results. Okay, let's do console log data zero dot results. The 
let's see okay alternatives of uh, the different uh, phrases that it it got so let's show in the alternatives let's do results dot map uh, let's get only the alternatives dot zero and let's join them with an N, okay? Oh, there's something more here. Let's do an altern matrix result zero. Let's see how it looks. Transcript. Oh, okay, okay. So, map alternatives dot transcript. I think that should work. Zero dot results zero alternatives. alternatives zero ah okay alternatives zero actually give me a second okay so let's test this out Okay, cool, perfect. Paint the sockets in the wheel, the green, child crawl. Okay, so that's the audio transcribe. Okay, so let's test another audio. Let's go grab this one. Rename. Perfect. Let's test this one. How do you see? you can see this is what I told you um, sometimes it doesn't have the encoding so you actually need to send the encoding um, so it depends on the audio it depends on a lot of things so yeah we have to this specific case we have to say hey we are gonna use OGG opus okay because we're gonna send the OGG but the problem there is like in saying, hey, for those, for the OGG, you actually need to send the rate, okay? So let's try the 8000, okay? And it's waiting and it's waiting and it says nothing, okay? So let's try a 16,000. Yeah. Hi, Don. I wanted to reach out and I'm feeling a little bit frustrated, blah, 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 blah. So you see how in this case, it actually required us to change the hertz rate. So let's try I don't know, let's try a sound created via text to speech, okay? This is an audio called Ember to adjust the sentences as needed to fit within the character limit for your YouTube short. So actually Google created that audio, okay? So let's see if we remove that and we use the sound 9 dot mp3 if that works okay uh, so let's run this 
and for this, as I told you before, it's a Cody. So let's just try things out, okay? Let's try a linear 16 with a 16,000, okay? Yeah, as you said, nothing, okay? So yeah, that's the issue here. Um, it's pretty bad. Like, it doesn't even recognize audios from the text to speech from their own libraries. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's pretty, really bad. I think that Amazon has a better text, uh, speech to text, and other libraries have as well. So I'll try to research them all and tell you, like, hey, this is the best one. So yeah, that's that's the speech to text from Google. I hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next time. Bye bye.